Alright guys, what's up? How's it going? Welcome to another episode of Roba Fett. So today I have a very interesting story and something that I actually subconsciously sort of noticed and then read a story about, uh, which I will leave uh, a link to it in the description box below. So go ahead and be sure to check it out. So Lumosity, Lumosity, we've all heard of it. We've all seen the, probably the commercials on TV or maybe an ad, you know, <laughs> when you're on Facebook or YouTube or whatever. If you've never seen the commercial, uh, I'll try and find one on YouTube if I can. So you can go ahead and watch that just to, uh, you know, catch up and see where we're at. So for those of us who have already seen the commercial or maybe just watched it, uh, <laughs> it seems a little weird, a little hard to believe. Uh, something like just games that can make your brain better somehow, makeshiftly with neuroplasticity, whatever that means. Well, apparently, if, if you didn't completely buy into this, if you thought, hey, this is kind of weird, uh, you know, I'm not really thinking that this works, it kind of seems like snake oil. Well, uh, apparently you were not alone. According to what I read, uh, the parent company Lumos Labs is paying two million dollars, two million smackaroos, to settle charges that it misled consumers about bogus claims about uh, Lumosity's abilities. Basically, they were just making it all up to uh, rake in the cash. This is so funny. It, it reminds me of a friend I went to high school with who thought that if he did the Rubik's Cube every day, it would make him smarter. The FTC says there's no evidence to support talk of boosting your intelligence. The FTC is the Federal Trade Commission, uh, if, you, if you weren't aware of what I was talking about. Also, a Lumosity doesn't disclose that many of its testimonials are solicited through contests. Attention, this is not a paid actor. And apparently they felt like uh, it's as we're preying on those who fear aging. That one seems a little extreme, but uh, you know what? It wouldn't surprise me in the least. And uh, it's, it seems like they're getting away with it pretty light, seeing as Lumosity charges $300 for lifetime access to their games that do nothing, that literally do nothing. Apparently, the sum that the company was going to have to pay was going to be larger, but they're accepting a smaller sum because the company was in financial straits anyway. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it was catching on. And I'd say with this story cracking, uh, their reputation is pretty much uh, tarnished, so I doubt that they're going to be seeing much business in the future. Okay, so here's, here's the big question. Why in the freak did they do this in the first place? I mean, what did... They invented all these games, and what did they think that they were going to get away with it? Did they think no one was going to scratch their heads and think, hmm, there's this, uh, there's something a little funny going on here. Something is just not adding up here. It's like somebody's setting up a meth lab in the middle of a police station. <laughs> not only are you going to get caught, but there's just no point in doing it. Another thing I'd like to know is, uh, why isn't the FTC going after all the other freaking bogus, uh, you know, <laughs> introducing the new sit on your butt fat belt? That's right, all you have to do is sit down and put this belt on and it'll melt the pounds away. It's scientifically proven to melt away the pounds. It's patented through microtransaction molecules that eat the modulated comestible fat, then poop it and scatter it through the stratosphere, where it rains down from mecca to mecca. It's science, don't question it. And just in case you do question it, here's a bogus testimonial. Thank God for sit on my butt fat belt. I owe my life to it. And it can all be yours for three easy installments of $39.95. Side effects may include stomach ache, diarrhea, gonorrhea, Chronicles of Narnia, Cancer, The Clap, Anal Seepage, Hair Loss, Divorce, Raichu, Pikachu, Explosion, Implosion, and Death. We're not responsible. So call now! Operators are standing by. Yeah, ShamWow? Not so wow. I mean, where are they on this stuff? Anyway guys, uh, I wanna know what you guys think about this. Uh, did, I mean, did you see the Lumosity ads? Did you, did you participate in Lumosity? Did you, were you a Lumosinite? Um, I don't know if they're gonna do anything for the people that got, you know, uh, scandaled by Lumot. I, I would hope that they're in on the suit for the two million dollars, which doesn't seem like a lot spread amongst all the people that were involved. But anyway, I wanna know in the comments below, just let me know, what do you think about this? What are your thoughts? As always, I wanna thank you guys for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, rate, subscribe. Like I always say, you don't have to, but if you did, it would really, really, really help me out. And as always, guys, keep those Punisher hats on, and I'll see you later.